Welcome to Professor's Garage. A while ago, I upgraded my Lexus original infotainment system to a CarPlay module. I will post here and in the description below the link to the original installation video on YouTube. Now it has been four months and thousands of miles of driving on local, highway, and out-of-state trips. I have family members who appreciate and do not appreciate technology. At the next stop sign, turn but left. so far, the experience has been positive. And so here in this video, I would like to share my experiences with the CarPlay module in the last four months uh, with some tips and settings and things uh, to share with uh, folks who are interested in this same upgrade. Uh, first, I would like to make a correction here. The original installation video, I stick the antenna uh, to a metal piece on the radio uh, unit, uh, which is incorrect. The menu actually says that I should not stick the antenna to any metal. Um, so if you could uh, attach that antenna to a plastic piece or something. Uh, practically though, I haven't noticed a problem uh, with that uh, installation, with that mistake but it may impact some of your installations or connections. Here are some tips. Uh, the first one is that, as I said in the original video, and if you follow the man manual and instructions, you should place the uh, audio output on AUX when you are using the CarPlay unit because AUX is the audio output that uh, the CarPlay unit relies on uh, to give you voice guidance and so forth. Okay, so make sure it's on us. Once you install the CarPlay module, you know you can long press the manual uh, on Lexus to switch back and forth between the original Lexus infotainment and the CarPlay. But you can simply use the on wheel buttons to navigate and change the media source on the dash. So you can easily switch uh, between different audio sources uh, using the on wheel control. The second is regarding the remote lever or uh, touchpad settings. In the systems manual of the CarPlay, uh, if you're using the remote lever, for example, or the joystick, make sure you have the correct setting that will improve uh, your experience uh, with the remote control. The third tip I would like to share here, when someone calls you, who is calling you may hear your voice repeated. So the way to eliminate or reduce this problem is to change the mic uh, pre-config. And currently on the unit that I installed, it has the IS and LS uh, pre-configurations. For my model, uh, the LX configurations uh, works just fine. For some people, I know that the IS pre-config may be working for you. Now, let's get to some basic use uh, of the CarPlay. First thing is connection. In order for you to connect um, to the CarPlay, uh, your phone has to be on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. But once you have configured your phone to connect to the CarPlay. Um, the next time you restart the car and place your phone in the car, it's going to automatically uh, reconnect and automatically switch uh, into the uh, CarPlay uh, mode. But even though it has the wireless uh, CarPlay and the wire uh, with USB, I tend to use USB more because it gives you the CarPlay functionality with very stable connections but also it is charging uh, your phone and so on long trips I don't want to train my my uh, iPhone so I just plug it in and I have the CarPlay and charging so that is great. Uh, people ask some questions regarding whether there's a problem of placing the USB cable in the glove box and the truth is, it does not affect anything. Uh, I can easily open and close the glove box without any problem. Uh, it's just not looking the best. Okay, that is the only downside I can see. But in terms of functionality, uh, it's not getting in the way. So it works very well uh, with the USB. And that is the preferred uh, mode that I'm 
uh, using. Now, sometimes, and this only happens occasionally, it uh, the connection um, did not succeed. And in that case, sometimes it's because uh, my Wi-Fi has some issues. So sometimes I had to turn off Wi-Fi and turn it back on, and it's going to the call play will pick up uh, from there and have no issue since. For those of us without a touch screen, we have to rely on the remote lever or joystick or touchpad uh, to uh, to control the car play and to navigate. So of course, make sure again the settings in the car play system is correct. If you are using the lever or joystick, make sure you select the lever. If you are using touchpad, you select touchpad. The primary way of controlling the car play using the lever is to move left or right. And this is the most used, uh, either for horizontal navigation or for vertical navigation. Uh, because if you have a horizontal list, such, on, such as on the home screen, you know you can move that left and right to navigate. And that is intuitive. But even if you are having a vertical list, um, such as a list of contact or a list of uh, radio stations you want to choose from, you still want to use the left and right movements. If you use up and down successfully, it's going to move up a page or move down a page, which is uh, not easy to control. What I ended up using most of the time is left and right. And I think this is the experience of most people you use left and right uh, to control either horizontal scrolling or vertical scrolling. And this is not the best, uh, but I think uh, it, it's, it's a, a fine solution. Some key features, features that you are going to use frequently. I want to mention the first uh, feature, uh, which is Siri. Take me to the Peace Valley Park. Siri is Getting really a lifesaver uh, to me, especially on the trip. When you are on the road, you want to focus on driving. Uh, you can activate Siri and speak to you and ask for almost everything available to the CarPlay. Uh, you can ask it to make a phone call. Uh, you can ask it to read your messages, you know, even to turn on uh, the radio, the tune-in radio that I use and pick you somewhere on the map. And it's easy to use. You just long press the remote or enter key okay, to activate that. And after that, you just use your voice. So 90% of the time, I would just use Siri on the trip. Second feature, phone calls. Okay, to make a phone call, of course, you can use Siri and you just say, Siri, uh, call someone. Uh, you could also uh, use the on wheel buttons to either receive or reject uh, calls. Okay, so if there's an incoming call, uh, you can simply press uh, the button uh, to receive or reject. Or after you're done with the phone call, you can also hang up. Those two buttons are related to phone calls. They work. You can also use the receive accept button uh, to initiate a new call and it integrates with the CarPlay module quite nicely. Uh, but personally, I still prefer Siri. The third feature I would like to discuss is maps and audio on the trip. Both Google Maps and Apple Maps work very nicely. Um, Apple Maps works seamlessly with Siri uh, because I use Siri a lot. So I tend to use uh, Apple Maps even more. By the way, the real camera and other safety features of the original Lexus should not be affected uh, by this CarPlay upgrade and should continue to function as usual. Now back in the driving mode, you can have the map on the full screen or as a split screen uh, where you can have the maps on the left hand side and then now playing on the right hand side as part of the screen and um, so now playing is basically what you are listening to and it's a separate app that can play i listen 
a lot to talk show radio and so that's what I have uh, with the TuneIn uh, radio app and uh, a good feature with the CarPlay is that uh, whenever there is an incoming call or your map has voice guidance for you it's going to automatically lower or mute the volume well, on the now playing so that you can pay attention to the call or the voice guidance regarding the reported problem of potential overheating of the CarPlay unit I have never experienced such issues I have been on very long trip with hours of driving straight but have never had the issue of uh, CarPlay unit overheating so far I have used it in spring and summer with AC on maybe this is part of the reason so I continue to monitor the situation in the fall and winter when I have heating Regarding Android Auto, I tested it uh, with an Android One device, a bit outdated uh, device and wired USB connection. Uh, you do have to follow uh, some instructions and steps on screen with the built-in Android Auto uh, uh, to get the initial setup. Uh, there was some confusion regarding whether you need the Auto Link uh, to make the connection, but ultimately I don't think I used it. Okay, so the third party app is not necessary. You only need the built in Android Auto functionality on your phone. I do not have the full recording of steps to set up Android Auto, but once you connect the USB cable to the phone and initiate Wire Auto, the phone should pop up on screen instructions and they are straightforward to follow so that you can give permission for the module to access data on your phone. Once the setup is complete, you can also long press the remote lever or touchpad or enter key to activate Google Assistant, which is very similar to Siri and can help you with a lot of things on the Android Take me to Auto the Times clip Square. Phone. Because my Android phone was outdated with no data, I only Luke, tested uh, the, the functionality with downloaded offline maps, but even that it appeared to work just fine. I suspect if I use a more advanced uh, phone uh, with the data plan, the experience would have been more smooth. My experiences with the upgrade have been overwhelmingly positive yes. so far. I really enjoyed this upgrade which is a huge improvement of the original infotainment and navigation systems. At the same time, this does not affect the original features of Lexus, especially those safety features. One downside, as you can see, is the remote level or a joystick control, which is not the best control and no comparison to a touch screen. But it is a working mechanism and if you have the settings correct, it is something that you can get used to. Take me to Times Square. But in the end, Siri Take is a game changer for me. Park. As I can access almost everything Take on the car play by using Siri. Please stay tuned as I will continue to share tips from my journey of car care and repairs. Appreciate your attention to Professor's Garage. Until the next time, may the Lord bless you and give you peace. Ding an.